Hello guys, this is DJ Dimaliwat and welcome to Project Six Figures. And my guest for today is Julian Pineda, a very good friend of mine. He's an author, he's a speaker and trainer, and of course, serial entrepreneur. He has numerous businesses that probably later he can share about. And if this is the first time you're watching this video, kindly subscribe to my channel so that you can get more notifications when we post new videos. All right, so again, si Julian is a very good friend. We met in training. Uh, do you attend training uh, abroad as well here in the Philippines? And we're part yes. of Speaker Circle, di ba, Julian? Yes, yes, that's right. right. So we're in authors and speakers uh, collaborate and train one another. And because it's one of the secrets of uh, being really successful, right? Meet the right type of people. So I think it's best if Julian will be the one to introduce himself more. So Julian, tell us about your background, uh, maybe some of your businesses you can share as well. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, first of all, thank you, thank you, DJ, you know, for for inviting me here. It's it's my absolute pleasure to be to be here to be sharing the stage with with um, successful entrepreneurs. Um, the other day, I watched the uh, interviews the Jerome San, uh, Robert um, Robert yeah. Tan of Blade, who's also a good friend, and yeah. of course, George Carlos, a very inspiring yeah. lady who's um, who's part of Forbes 30 Under 30. So, yeah. ayon, um, thank you for for me to be for me to be here, and um, I want to commend you then for creating this platform because yeah, um, in these times, yeah, you're welcome. So, ganda, no? it's um it's a platform wherein a lot of people will learn. And um, to everybody who's watching this, thank you also for your time because um, you could be doing something else or watching a different um, speaker or learning about different things. But you chose to be in DJ's platform and um, you chose to listen to me. So thank you so much. <laughs> um, I will make sure that I will um, do my best to make it um, worth your time. Nice. Ayan. Okay, sige. So, can you know, DJ, you asked me about, um, ano, um, what was your question? Something Probably about what myself. are your, yeah, you, give, give your background, some of your businesses, maybe you can share what you do. And para so people would know you better. Sure, sure. Thank you. Sige. So, a little bit about myself. So, I came from, I came from humble beginnings. Um, humble beginnings because I went to not one, but two financial crisis. This was the, um, the first one is in 1997. Um, it was the Asian financial crisis. Pero sobrang bata pa ako nun. I couldn't yeah. <laughs> um, remember much. Um, the second one is um, 2008. Um, it's the subprime crisis or the recession in the US. Yeah. So, ang nangyari nito, noong 1997, I practically, um, since I was too young, all I can recall was that kami ng brother ko, we practically had like um, OFW parents. Okay. And what that means is that kasi yung parents namin at that time sobrang they really want to provide for the family. So talagang sobrang kayod silang dalawa. So mm. yun, nag-overtime sila and um, yun. So I almost, I only see them siguro mga once a week, mga ganun. So pare parehas kami nasa Philippines naman. Pero yun eh, hindi, wala kami masyadong bonding during that time. So yun. Fast forward, in 2008, when it happened, naman, I was already in college. And um, when it happened, it was tough. It was really tough. Because at that time, na yon, um, yun nga, I was in college, but I had to stop from school. Oh. And um, since I value education, I worked on and then I went back to school as a working student naman this okay. time. So it's those times na. Medyo ano na discriminate ako and um, also because of age in a way no kasi um ito yung part na I'm not really proud of but I I went to school kasi I went to college kasi 15 years old but I graduated 23 so okay. alam mo na medyo delayed and of course hindi ako maka full units so, yung mga yeah, ganung stuff yeah. so so medyo medyo tough times and then I at those at those moments I began to question myself no sabi ko why did it have to happen to us diba ba bakit kailangan siya mangyari and then I realized, number one, we didn't we didn't plan. Yeah. Wala kaming plan. No? We, we, did, we didn't know. And um, a wise man once said, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Yeah, and on time na yun, as in, wala, hindi namin alam. So that's mm -hmm. it. And then second is, I also realized na, umaasa kasi kami sa ibang tao. Umaasa okay. kami sa employer, umaasa okay. kami sa payroll, umaasa kami sa sweldo, umaasa kami sa government. 
Ang okay. dami, ang daming. And then I realized one of my one of my mentors now, he said that we should we should create our own economy, meaning okay. we should live our lives by design and not by default. Yeah. And then doon ko na realize kung kaya naman pala yung gaw- gawin ng normal na tao, why not gawin ko rin? And then that's that's the vision that I had. So right after college, uh, 23 years old, I pursued um, going into business and into investing. And fast forward to today, as yun nga, sinabi ni DJ earlier, I am I'm an author. I have five businesses. Um, nice. Companies and organizations invite me to do to do talks about business, about personal growth, and about um, wealth management, these things. And um, modesty aside, I would say that before I reach 30, I am now financially free. Wow. And... Wow. Um, uh, yeah, thank you. And then the in the in the definition of Robert Kiyosaki, sabi niya financially free means um once once the passive income exceeds the total expenses. So based okay, on my yeah. computation, even if even if the situation or the re- of, or a recession happens or this pandemic continues, wag naman na on wood. But yeah. <laughs> let's say kahit kahit maging five years to seven years to, I would I would still be living the same lifestyle. I would be I I can still donate and give to charity, makakain ako ng maayos, I can still travel. So medyo yun, yun yung magandang naging transition ng buhay ko since since um since I was 23. Ang galing, yeah. galing yun, Julian. Ang galing no. So imagine no, you it took you 8 <laughs> years to fi- to finish college because of those challenges nangyari sa family mo. Ah, uh, yun nga na discriminate pa. Yet in less than 8 years, you became financially free. ba? So uh, ang ganda nung story na yon no na mas mahaba pa nga yung pinag-aralan dun sa application but still you were able to apply i'm curious no na what are the things that you learned probably in school as well and after school that helped you become financially free no saan mo nakuha tong mga learning na to and then uh, uh, what are some, some of those things that you've applied because i'm sure a lot of people who are watching right uh-huh. now are also curious Diba? Wow, paano mm-hmm. nagawa ni Julian yun? I also want to do it. Eh. I also want that to happen for myself. So maybe you can enlighten us. Sure, sure. Thank you. Sige. So I, um, it starts with, I would attribute my success to three things. Okay? Okay. Three things. Number one is having the growth mindset. Okay, growth, growth mindset. Growth mindset, yan. Like, um, yan. Si DJ nga, um, has, been, has been a good friend and um, a classmate even abroad, no? international yeah. workshops. It is continuous education that is growth mindset. No? Yung mindset of abundance, mindset of continuous education na tuloy-tuloy pa rin. Um, I am removing yung alam ko na yan mindset. I'm always yeah. hungry to learn. No? And um, uh, the second one is having winning habits. Okay. For me, yung habits talaga is really important. It's not just the knowledge. It's not just the skills or the talents. It's about habits talaga. And when I say habits, ako talaga naka-schedule yung naka-schedule yung yung mga activities ko. Okay. Um, I'm also being healthy because scheduled yung time ko, scheduled yung work hours, nice. um, scheduled yung yung education ko. Education meaning I I read a book at least one hour a day, or at okay. least I read something articles one hour a day yan. And okay. um, na list ko nga eh, na in in the past five years, nasa almost 3,000 hours yung ginugol ko for personal development, for wow. learning business, wow. attending workshops, no? Ganon siya. And um, so yun yung habits. Yun yung habits for me. And one more thing pala for, for those of you who are watching, also for the entrepreneurs, um, nakaschedule din even yung play. Even nice. even sabihin yung play kasi sometimes nababurn out tayo, di ba? Um, Parang kayod marino, 16 uh, hours magtrabaho, di ba? So ako, ginagawa ko, schedule din yung play ko para pag naglalaro ko or shopping or anything, walang walang sakit sa ulo, wala yung um, wala yung antal dito. Wala yung para nagigilty ka na ubat pa ako naglalaro wala kasi yeah, lahat yung scheduled tama tama yun. so it falls part of the habits talaga okay, so winning, winning habits. habits yun ayun so first we have growth mindset second winning habits and then third for me is very very critical it's called a supportive environment oh. Oh. because um one of my mentors once said si T. Harvecker sabi niya that um environment is stronger than willpower so at first, naisip ko, ano kaya sense nun? Hindi ko masyadong na nakuha. And then I realized, sobrang critical pala yung 
yung supportive environment. Kasi kapag walang supportive environment, negative tayo, eh. madadown tayo, we're doing something really, really good for the future, for our families. And then, walang support na nakukuha dun sa circle natin. No? So, yun yung three things that I would I would say um, help me a lot in terms of in terms of getting where 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 I am right now. No? Nice. Now, um, kanina, you also mentioned about Ano naman yung exact steps ko no? So sige, yeah. I'll also be sharing yung exact nice. steps. Yeah. Ayun, sige. So dun sa exact steps naman, uh, in my book, so by the way, I have a book, it's called NASDO. It's N A S D O W. NASDO means not a single day of worry because it's Galing. a it's a self-help book na oh, thank you. <laughs> it's a self-help book na ang sinasabi ko nga doon, once we learn the basics and um, once we learn the, the strategies or, or at least the, you know, the basics, uh, we will live our lives without, without worrying. Ganun siya. So, yun yung title ng book. So, anyway, one of the topics that I shared dun sa book is uh, what I call the building of wealth. Like, uh, yung totoong building, yung structure, okay. yung building. So, it's a uh, you know, building of wealth. And there are four um, stages or four phases of it. The first one is uh, wealth creation. Okay, wealth the second creation. one, yes, the first one is wealth creation. The second one is wealth expansion. Okay. And then um, next is wealth protection. Okay. And then wealth succession. So apat yan nice. nice. But for this, for this, you know, for this talk, for the viewers, I'm I would be sharing two muna, no? So the first, first two. two muna. Okay. Okay. First two muna, which are the wealth creation and wealth expansion. So, ani yung wealth creation? So for me, my definition of wealth creation is in this modern times, it is something that we can call a side hustle. Okay. okay. A side hustle is something different from what we are already having. So kunare, um, we have um, people who are employed, people who are into business, people who are freelancers or people okay. na self-employed. Lahat ito kasi is ano eh, is active income. So mean tayo yeah. So it means tayo yung nagtatrabaho, di ba? Yeah. For for to earn for the money. Yung wealth creation on my part is something that we can add to what we already have. Okay. okay so example. So kahit may negosyo na ako, kahit may negosyo na ako, magandang negosyo ko I should add. I suggest, I yeah, suggest. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. So ito yung reason ko why, no? So let's say let's pick an example. Let's say um, let's say a self-employed person, a, a lawyer, a doctor, or um, oh, oh, by the way, since we're talking about doctors, um, thank you so much, no, for for all the frontliners, yes, so, of course, um, for doing what you're Bumla. doing. Uh, one of my yeah, one of the one of my one of my businesses, pala, is into medical distribution, and um, I have the privilege of of working with with the medical practitioners. So sobra talaga yung respect. Yeah. And um, the, the effort, the sacrifices that you do for all of us, no. So, maraming maraming salamat po. So anyway, so going back, so let's say doctors are also entrepreneurs, di ba? They have their own clinics, yung mga ganyan, di ba? But here's the thing: what if during this time, what if hindi sila frontliner and wala silang clinic? So, baka most of them, even the doctors, baka wala silang kita. Oh, oh. So. It's considered as a business, pero since they cannot practice, wala silang kita. That's true. Diba? Same with the entrepreneurs. Yung sinasabi mo kanina, kahit may business na, dapat ba may wealth creation pa na others. Yeah. Yes. Why? Because let's say you're into restaurants, diba? What if hindi kayo, makapag, hindi kayo maka, makagawa ngayon or hindi kayo makapag-deliver ngayon, diba? So, yeah. medyo pa tayong business, diba? So, dapat merong, merong side hustle or yung wealth creation yeah. nga. Or during the so, times na mahina. Kasi diba, during the normal times, tuloy-tuloy naman yung benta eh. Pero may mga months yes. na pwedeng sakto lang or lower pa dun sa kailangan mo na sales. So, dapat may magsusupport. Tama ba? Yes. Pang support yeah. siya. Yeah. So, eto naman siya. Ang kagandahan dun sa, sa side hustle or the, dun sa wealth creation part is it does not, so ulitin ko, it does not take too much effort or too much time. Contrary to what people think. Okay. Why? For me kasi, once we have um, this like side hustle na, it's something which is we're really good at. Ano okay. yan? Eh? Strength natin or talent natin or something that we love, something like a hobby or something that we're, that we're happy doing. Diba? So for example, 
um yeah tulad mo diba ikaw you're you're into sports diba you're into yeah. basketball diba yeah. Yeah. So, pare, so there are also entrepreneurs who's into basketball and uh, magaling talaga kayo sa basketball. It's something that you can do as uh, as as a, like a, like like a coach, di ba? Yeah. Um, uh, you can do it like one hour a day or two hours a day or siguro two hours a week, di ba? Yeah. So it's something na hindi naman magre-require ng so much time, so much energy, kasi alam mo na siya, di ba? Uh-huh. Now for people naman who are good into music or good with music, um, saxophone, violin, uh, piano, regardless, di ba? Kung sobrang galing na diyan, kahit na in this COVID times, pwede siyang gawin online eh. Tama. Diba? So pwedeng pwedeng gawin online, di ba? Now if you're into let's say language, di ba? Magaling ka sa Korean, Japanese, Chinese, yeah. you could be a translator. Ang dami, ang dami talaga Dami pwedeng gawin. You know, what dami, my friends eh. bro si Rafi, uh-huh. mahilig sa basketball yes. talaga 'yon. What he did, nagkaroon siya ng parang league. Eh. So di ba? Yes, 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 meron siyang right. league, nag-enjoy siya. Tapos kumikita rin siya on that on the side for that. So that's the side hustle. Using exactly. Nice. Exactly. Marami din. Let's say um one of the interviewees din no si Alan Mantering no he's into yeah. naman like um online no or affiliate yeah. uh, marketing yung mga ganun. So yeah. kung pare tulad ko hindi naman ako expert doon it will take so much effort on my part na aralin yun. But okay. for some people na talagang techie na IT na na talagang magaling na sa computer okay. stuff hindi masyadong effort yun sa part yeah. nila, yeah. di ba? Yeah. And and eto ha ah, um let's say after this school pandemic no I I know people who drive um ano ba to Uber or wala yeah, na grab grab, <laughs> grab yeah, yeah. so <laughs> yeah so kunwari yung bahay nila is in QC and then they work in Makati eto ah just imagine what if going to Makati from QC you can take one passenger as as grab no as yeah. a grab driver one passenger going to Makati and then one passenger going back So Tama. wala masyadong time and effort on the person's part or on your part kasi papunta ka din naman dun sa area Tama. eh, Tama. di ba? And and you're using your car, you're using magpapagas ka na rin naman anyway. But what if just bringing one person going there and one person going back? What if you could earn 500 pesos? What if Tama. you could earn 1000 pesos a day? Yeah. Di ba? And wala Baka masyadong mas malaki pa sa sweldo mo. Exactly, baka mas malaki pa hindi tayo sure, 'di ba? Or at least per hour, if, at least per hour mo, 'di ba? E parang ganoon eh. Yes, yes, yeah. 'di ba? Eh what if what if mag-effort ka pa ng onte, 'di ba? What if mag-effort ka pa ng konti, gawin mong 2 hours, 'di ba? Ina ina month ah, just imagine and eto ah. I don't know, pwede siya sabihin sa camera but <laughs> pero pero since side hustle siya, yung yeah. iba kasi I, I I'm not sure ha, pero iba kasi baka baka Basta. Anyway. <laughs> so, yun. So, okay, you can tax, earn like... Parang ganun. Yes. So, yes. Yes. Ganun ba talaga sa minsan cash, cash, cash to cash siya. So, sometimes it's like you putting in service. Minsan, hindi na talaga nga siya natataksan. Diba? Kasi nga... Exactly. Side hustle lang siya. Yeah. I mean, exactly. Okay lang naman bang it yun. Kasi talagang nangyayari naman talaga siya. Sometimes. Yeah. Just, yeah. Not on a regular basis. Diba? So, but it adds up. Kasi nga, parang what... Yes. Like your eight hours of work is for your living. You do that, but that extra mm-hmm. two hours you're building a fortune. Kaya siya sinabi mong wealth yes. creation, di ba? That's right. That's right. 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 So yon. So ganon siya. And um, what? Di ba yun nga? Add that up. Siguro that's about twenty, thirty, forty thousand additional, no? On yeah. top of what yeah. they're earning. So yeah. so for them, baka for others, baka mas malaki yun sa kinikita nila. For some, mas maliit yun. Pero pang dagdag, ano yung pang dagdag yeah, sa mga pupulutin yan? Okay. Diba? So, so right after that. So yun. So yun. So um, ako naman, just to share naman yung actual ko na ginawa. If okay, people sige. are wondering. So one of my side hustles when I was starting, um, what I realized is that I am a good connector. Okay. So it means, um, sabi kasi nila, there's a term there, they, they say it's some um, like empath or empathy. So, parang magaan daw ako dalhin, sabi ng mga okay. tao. So, okay. dun ko na-realize that people are sharing problems with me. Okay. And then, inisip ko, instead na sinasalo ko yung mga problema, anong mag- magagawa ko? Okay. And then, dun ko na-realize, meron silang problema. And then, sinishare ko sa ibang tao. I mean, okay. binibridge ko sila sa ibang tao. So, kaya tawag doon connector. Yung yeah. iba naman yeah. tawag doon um, information broker, whatever they want yeah. to call it. Eh. So, And then, doon ko na-realize, people started giving me money. So, I ko, okay. 
kinonek ko lang siya, kunwari mayroong isang may medyo depressed na no, okay. na namatayan ng loved one, 'di ba? And then kinonek ko sa mga friends na life coaches. Okay. And then yung life coaches, binigyan ako ng pera sa ito. Ah, ito binigyan ng pera dito. And then doon ko na realize, pwede pala 'yun, yung parang okay. kinonek ko lang naman. Tapos okay. binigyan okay. ako ng pera. So yeah. sabi ko, yeah. "Hoy, okay pala 'yun, ah." So it started there and then um eventually, of course, ah, uh, 'yun na nga eh, by connecting people lang, they they started giving me something. So, nakakaipon ako from that. And then, doon ko na-realize, why not go into sales na talaga? And okay. then, okay. Uh, that's one of the things, that's one of the things then pala that I do. Uh, we're doing sales, um, sales trainings, no? Okay. So, uh, so, yun. Pero it's not that typical sales wherein people are pushy or aggressive. Okay. No? It's, a, it's a different type of, of sales. Uh, so, may halong negotiations din siya and um, okay. psychology. So, yun. So, yun yung teach namin sa mga tao. So, by doing that, doon ko na-realize na it eventually became a business na okay. I'm just really helping people. Diba? So, so um, ang maganda nito, sabi nga ni George Carlos, one of her businesses, nag-ugat din dun eh, na narinig lang niya that her clients may concerns Ama. regarding um, filing or, or registering uh, business their business. Registration. Yeah. And then, yeah. yun, yun. And then she turned it into a business. Yeah, diba? tama, so tama. sa akin, ganun din eh. Nagsimula lang siya sa itong yung isa kong friend pag may great na ibebenta niya yung bahay niya and then may meron akong kaibigan na broker may kaibigan okay. na direct buyer kinonek ko lang sila binigyan na naman ako ng pera na parang nice. ah ganun wow. pala yun so it really started from there Tama, so nice, nice. exact na ginawa ko ah ang galing ang galing so, noon so yun ayun so, so actually, people what I, what I'm realizing yun, from your story is nung una what you're sharing parang ay parang alita man ng income na yun paano ko yayaman mm-hmm. but what I see is that you start small, but when you get the hang of it, maaadik ka in a way sa pagkita, you know? Una, mm-hmm. Diba? Kasi ay, masaya pala to. Parang mas enjoy to. Kasi yes. Job ko, ah. Diba? Parang yes. ganun. Hanggang sa you do one hour more, hanggang sa yun na yung naging major source of income mo. Kasi you found something that you're good at pala. Parang ganun, eh. Yes. No? So, yes. yeah, I, I like it, no? Na, kaya nga, and during these times of pandemic, Kung kesa naman nasa bahay ka lang, wala kang ginagawa, use one or two hours of your time to learn new yes. things. How to... Exactly. You know, and probably that's the reason why you're watching this video, di ba? You want to learn uh-huh. new things. So that's why I congratulate you all. Sige, Julian. That's great. Let's move that's to true. yung step two. Sige. Ay, ayun. Um, Nakakatuwa yung sinabi mo, no? Yung one hour, two hours. Um, yeah. Balik ko lang before we Sige. move to step Sige. two, no? Excuse me. So, dun sa one to two hours, dun sa book, I also shared na let's say for people ayan sige bro probably you can help me no so okay. in 24 hours a day typically ilang oras people normally work like yeah, yung mga 10 to 12 that's the reality okay sige uh, 10 to 12 let's say 10 so uh, usually ako I use 10 eh. in my yan, okay course. 10 yeah. and then okay so in terms of sleeping naman do you sleep 8 hours like yung recommended not really. Usually six hours. Ganon. Usually six. Ah, diba? Okay. Ah. So six hours. Now, yung iba, nagta-travel pa. Diba? Bumabiyahe. Yeah. Yung iba yeah. naman, hindi. Kasi nakakondo. Pero sabihin okay. na lang natin, typical average, mga ilang hours of travel. Probably. Although ngayon, wala tayong travel. Kasi stay at home. Rather two to three hours. Okay. Two to three yeah. hours. So sabihin natin, ten plus six plus two to three. So sabihin na natin three. So nineteen yeah. hours. Diba? Now, there are people naman na who have kids so may mga responsibility, may mga chores, nagluluto, di ba? Yeah. That takes siguro one hour, two hours, di ba? Yeah. So, that's 21 hours, yeah. di ba? Those, those naman na who are single, probably they, they go into mobile games or yeah, into yeah. watching TV, Netflix, yeah. di ba? Entertainment, yeah. Yeah. Entertainment, so siguro one to two hours. So, if you add that up, that sums up siguro mga 22 hours lang, max, uh, or 23 uh, hours for yeah, those who yeah. are really busy. So, my question, is, ano gagawin nila doon sa extra one hour or doon sa extra two hours? Diba? Yeah. Especially now na may COVID nga, hindi tayo makalabas ng bahay. Now we have extra four extra, hours. Extra uh, two to three hours. Oh, yeah. Four oh, hours. Oh, oh, oh di ba? Oh, four Tama. hours. Tama. 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 Oh, oh. So, ano gagawin natin? Di ba? So, yun nga. There are people who, who think na wala silang choice. So, yung message ko in sharing that is that when you really look at it and analyze your day, wala ba talaga tayong choice or nakita lang natin siguro mahaba yung time natin for playing or mahaba <laughs> yeah, for yeah. watching. That's Pero a reality, choice. Actually, that's a reality. Sometimes. Yes, yes. So I, I like what you said eh, that you have that habit to really plan your life and schedule it. Because that's yes. productivity hack eh. Because mm-hmm. if not, yeah, kakainin ka ng what you just do like puro entertainment, Netflix, 
internet mm-hmm. browsing the the computer or your cell phone ganyan mm-hmm. but yun nga side hustle only ask you one to two hours that can really make exactly. you a fortune in the future yeah. exactly exactly and uh uh, don't get me wrong, no. Uh, normal na tao din ako, naglalaro din ako. Oh, okay. Din ako ng mga Korean novela, yeah. no? mga cash landing. <laughs> Nanunod din ako. <laughs> Pero yeah. ano siya, nakaschedule nga siya. So, Tama. I'm looking forward na at this particular time ng gabi, manunod ako. Tapos walang, walang istorbo. And Tama. walang guilt feeling na yeah, hindi yeah. productive. Diba? Yeah. So, yun. Ang galing. So, yun. So, that, that's, 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 um, thank you. So, that's what I do naman dun sa wealth creation. Now, we transition to the next part, which is the wealth expansion. Diba? Yeah. Now, so for wealth expansion um sasagutin ko yung I'll, I'll be honest no dun sa wealth creation at first before I did it as a business I earn six figures a month but okay. it's not consistent yeah syempre yeah. hindi it's it's not that consistent kasi ano yeah. naman siya really just helping people and connecting yeah. no so hindi siya consistent until I turned it into a business kasi na realize ko nga it's like problem solving eh pag seryoso na talaga oh tama naman pag seryoso oh. na di ba oh. tulad ng sinabi din ni, ni Jerome San no um sabi ni nga ni Jerome San entrepreneurs are problem solvers yeah. So everything that we see is just you know problem solving no lahat like yeah, laptop screen yeah. watch um, charms uh, pen lahat problem solving no so anyway so going back yun nga it makes me six figures a month but it's not that consistent now what made it consistent or what what how I did it consistently is through the next step which is wealth expansion okay now for wealth expansion it doesn't need naman our expertise for my definition of wealth expansion is, okay we are now going into investments and okay. um sabi nga nila kasi business is not for everyone which yeah. is true kasi yeah. iba yung laro sa business eh di ba nagpapasweldo tayo um yung mga sakit ng ulo nila na burden i mean sinasalo natin eh di ba ang daming opex ang daming expenses so iba yung laro oo di ba so hindi madali yung business so business is not really for everyone but okay. ito yung for me ha so business is not for everyone but investments can be yeah ulitin ko no just for me business is not for everyone but investments can be why okay. bakit siya bakit but ganun yung mindset ko kasi i realized when I was starting to to do into to go into business, no, I was working sixteen hours a day, That's and true. I can relate, bro. No, yung sa yo five hours, six hours of sleep, de ba? Because once we yeah. go into business, talagang baby natin yun, eh. so That's talagang true. blood, sweat, tears, mm. emotion, lahat ng do. Yeah. And then I realized it's not sustainable. Diba? Mm. Bakit siya hindi sustainable? Yes, malaki yung kita, pero super pagod naman. Tama, and tama. And na-realize ko, what if something happens to me, wala din efforts ko, diba? So, doon ko na-realize, okay, um, wala akong time with the family, wala akong time for the, to do the things that I want to do, diba? And yung health ko, may, may concern. So, by doing wealth expansion or investing, nale-leverage ko yung expertise ng, ng ibang tao. Ibang tao, tao. yeah. Tama. Yes. And um, by doing that, um, we are ang, ang maganda diyan kasi we can we can uh, we can control two out of three things no so ano yung mga tatlong bagay na to for me ha so three things number 1 is capital okay um number 2 is time and number 3 is rate okay yeah. or return okay so number 1 capital it's something na pwede nating kontrolin eh Diba? Because we know how much yung sweldo natin. Yeah. We know how much yung yung kinikita natin sa side hustle natin on the average. Okay. And we know yung expenses natin. So we know how much capital we have. Now, in terms of time, we know then kailan tayo magsisimula. Do we start in our 20s, in our 30s, in our 40s? Alam natin yun eh. Kaya natin kontrolin yun. Yeah. And Hopefully we, as young as we, possible. <laughs> as young as yeah. possible. That's true, diba? Um, can we invest annually or semi-annual, quarterly, or maganda nga, monthly, kung kaya, di ba? So, these are the things that we can control. And yeah. another thing when it comes to investments is yung return. Yung yeah. return, honestly, walang tayong control doon. But yeah. at least two out of three, kontrolado natin. Tama, yung time tama. and yung capital, di ba? So, yun. So, nung kinombine ko yung dalawa na yun, yung wealth creation, which I turned into a business, and then yung wealth expansion ko, nung kinombine ko yung dalawa na yun, doon na. Doon na siya naging combo for me na six months consistently. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Yes. Ang galing, ang galing. Tama yun, Juliano. I like what you said na Hindi ka pwedeng mag-stop lang into wealth creation, puro business lang eh. 
it's good at the start. Yes, it pays good money, but eventually it also eats up time. So you got to leverage from other people's businesses as well. Expertise okay. na. Kahit mas maliit yung return, at least, di ba? Parang it helps you more income. So in between, I would That's just true. like to add up na you really have to manage your money. We're in Okay. yung kinikita mo mas maliit yung expense mo para meron kang mai-invest yes right meron kang ma-expand kasi kung lesser kahit anong laki nung kita mo wala ring mangyayari uh-huh. uh-huh. di ba ganun so Tama. i like it i like what you said no so siguro briefly na lang i would like to ask you or maybe they are asking as well uh, uh, what are some of the investment vehicles that you would recommend no kunyari meron kang yun nga, i want to expand my wealth na or kahit pa may side hustle man lang ako, pero yung side hustle ko talagang sobra na siya from what I need. Di ba? Mm-hmm. Kesa gasusin ko siya, bumili ng kung ano-ano, maybe I wanna invest it. So, what are a few investments that you can think of that probably people would want to invest in? Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you. No? Good question. Yeah, no? yeah. So, ako, personally, um, meron akong dalawang bias. No? Okay. okay. Uh, dalawang bias. Number one is uh, number one is the stock market. So okay. talagang talagang bias ako sa stock market. Okay. Why my bias? Because even if we do not understand, okay, if we do not under even if we do not understand, more than half of the pera ng 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 government and ng buong Pilipinas na lang for that expand for this example. Don't omiikot, di ba? Even yeah. if we do not understand right now, people who are watching, di ba? You're using data. You're do. You're using internet. You have lights. You have aircon. Yeah. You have um, all of these things. Utilities. Most yeah. of them are inside the stock exchange, yeah. ba? Uh, for those, naman. Yeah. Oh, oh de ba? Um, yung mga lumalabas ng bahay para mamili. Most of it, Tama. yung mga groceries, retail, de ba? Lahat nandon. Uh, yung mga magsasakay ng kotse, yung mga gas companies nandon. Yung mga binibili natin na pagkain nandon. So nandon meaning. All of this, most of them are listed companies in the stock exchange. Yeah, yeah. So, kahit na hindi natin naiintindihan, those who are in the market are actually earning money. Okay, yeah, yeah. Siya. Tama, But tama. It's, a, it's a separate, different topic. Yeah, no? Kasi course, syempre, course. iba siya, lalo yung mga iba. Ah, baka it's too risky. Baka it's medyo yeah. separate topic na yon. But just yeah. to answer the question, so yun. That's stocks. one, okay. You know, that's one. Second naman, another second bias for me, for those naman na mas, mas conservative, so to speak, di ba? They're also um, like bond market or or okay. bond funds rather. Okay. So yung bond funds naman are are fixed instruments that give um fixed returns. Okay. Okay. So may, meron din meron ding mga ganun sa market na in, yung iba parang ah hindi ko ata alam yun na ah. meron merong ganun. Yeah. Na ang kagandahan dito since it's fixed regardless of what's happening in the economy ah uh, yung pera na yung 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 returns o nice. fixed siya. Ang galing. Some nga lang some are bigger some are higher than others. Some may be um, lower than the stock market. Tama. Some are bigger than the stock market. Siyempre, it depends on the risk tama, appetite tama. of people then. Uh, tama. Thank you. Thank you. Usually, di ba, stock market, very popular yan. You invest, you buy companies, and then depend on fluctuation. Perhaps sometimes you also get mm-hmm. dividends. In terms yes. of bond, usually, there are government bonds and then private corporation bonds. Eh, mm-hmm. And you yes, invest yes. in both or sa private corp- companies lang? Good, good. No? A- ako kasi, yun nga, it depends on the risk appetite. Ako kasi okay. medyo high risk person ako. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, doon ako sa gov- ay, doon ako sa private. Kasi private, sa private, mas malaki return. Oo, mas malaki yung return. Yes. Galing, galing. So, nice, yun, nice. Kasi ako, pa- ako, ako kasi, ang iniisip ko, since I'm still single, no, wala naman akong anak, wala akong yeah. family, I can be more, ano eh, risk taker. Tama, eh. totoo yun, totoo yun. Pero din ako so, nung single ako eh, nung nagkaroon ako ng family, mm-hmm. medyo mas kailangan mag yes. down ng konti. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Oo, kasi may umaasa na eh. No? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Yes, so, yes. That's great. Yeah. The reason why I ask is because I know that's one of the your businesses. They are really, you are, you're into private corporations. We're in issuing mm-hmm. funds. Kind of, and that's way that's one of the ways you invest your money. Right? So, sige, yes. Julian, I, I like it. No? I, I think you're, I, I believe you really have a, a wonderful story. We learned a lot from you. If people want to Thank connect you. with you, if people want to connect with you, maybe to ask some more, they want to learn some more, or probably they want to ask, oh, Julian, saan pa ba ako pwede mag-invest? Maybe you can, uh, you can support me or pwede mo akong i-guide kung saan. How can they contact you? Sure, no? Yun nga, for, for people who have more questions, of course, because of the limited time and 
there are things that we cannot really um, discuss online, yeah. no? lalo sobrang dami. Maybe let's have another iba kasi schedule. Iba-iba needs per tao. Eh. Uh, Magkakapit tayo pwede, na pwede, ka na pwede, another, pwede. Ano, another episode, bro, with you. Sure, sure. Yun, thank you. Sige. So, yun, so for those who wanna connect, um, you can find me on Facebook. Um, My name is Julian Pineda. Yun lang, ganun lang simple. Okay, Facebook <laughs> Julian lang. Pineda, Julian Pineda, just... Pineda, yeah. Yes, um yun nga lang yung iba um sorry hindi ako masyadong techy so yung iba yung staff ko kasi nagga-handle but if you cannot um add me up pwedeng message muna and then uh, yeah, I can yeah. add you up na lang. Tama. Na, Tama. Nasa Tama settings at ayo magpakilala. Yeah. Yes, yes. Basta yeah, yung yeah. ano chinito mukhang Korean na Julian Pineda baka mga ikaw kasi. Oh pero iba Julian Pineda para Espanyol ata. Oh nga. <laughs> The last so, time, bro, last time lang, I have one final sure, question. Sure. We call this the six-figure sure, sure. question. Everyone who is guesting in this in this show, we ask this question. Like, if you don't have any business right now, wala yung limang businesses mo, but you have your knowledge, your experience, your network, your wisdom right, right now, and you're just starting a business. Ngayon ka magsisimula ng negosyo. What, will, what business will that be and why? Hmm. Good question. No? What what business will that be? Eh, kunwari kung back to zero, no? Yeah, Wala back to lahat. zero. Back to zero lahat. Back to yeah. zero. Mm. Good question. Sige, so sa akin kasi, tulad ng sinabi ko kanina, no, it always starts with problem solving. Okay. Ibig sabihin, isipin natin, ano yung, ano yung problema ng tao ngayon? And how do we, how can we solve that? Okay. Diba? So let's say, ano bang problema ng tao ngayon? Let's say, um, they want to learn, but, um, hindi pwede kasi hindi pwedeng lumabas, di ba? Okay. So, what if we can come up with number one, an online training platform? Siguro, okay. ganon. Okay. And I'm not saying that you, that the people who are listening, no, I, I'm not saying that you should be a trainer or a speaker. Uh-oh. Pwedeng ikaw yung gagawa mismo ng platform. Okay. Pwedeng okay. ganon. Di ba? Yung mga IT people, tech people, di ba? Yeah. Pwedeng, pwedeng ganon. So, it's, it's, ano eh, it's, um, uh, yung mga tulad ng sinabi ko kanina, you can do yung 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 ginagawa namin sa morning. Meron kaming morning wellness exercise. Parang mga ganun, okay. mga Zumba, yoga, na online okay. ha. Okay. So, pwede na yun. So, yung, di ba? So, pwedeng kumita through that eh, di ba? Um, so, parang it's medyo directed. Sa ngayon lang ha, it's medyo directed towards e-commerce. Pero, okay. in reality, in reality, sobrang dami, di ba? Let's That's say, um, di ba? Let's say, um, those of you who are watching, let's say you're into, mar- magaling kayo mag-drive, no? or you're into into siguro um, furniture ko na lang sobrang random yeah. na isip ko no? into furniture pero obviously walang namimili ng furniture yeah. ngayon di ba yeah. pero meron kayong mga truck di ba so ano gagawin natin dun sa truck baka pwede natin pwede mong gamitin yung truck mo para mag-deliver ng pagkain mag-deliver ng bigas mag-deliver ng something so at least yung yeah. truck mo hindi nakatenga di ba so, sobrang dami if you're into sewing tailor uh, um mag mag ano mag-commission kayo to to para manahiin ng mga PPEs. Marami kasi okay. nagdo-donate na eh. Yeah, diba? yeah. So, so probably what, oh, I'm, so, what so, I'm hearing is ano, parang first find look at what your resources are right now, di ba? Uh-huh. Kung meron ka and then also look at the needs. Parang find the needs. No, siguro kung ikaw babalik yes. ka sa sales, di ba? Connecting kasi yun yung naging strength uh-huh. mo eh. Parang yun yung naging skill uh-huh. set mo rin eh. Di ba? So I like yes. it. I like your answer na again, find that what people need. Look for what yes. people need and then pro, yun nga, solve it. Kasi at the end of the day, marami. 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 That's great. Yung mga gym instructor, sabihin nila, hindi sila makapag-work kasi sarado uh, yung gym. Diba? Uh, but as long as meron kang camera, meron kang internet, pwede kang kumuha ng clients. Eh. Same uh, uh, thing. Zoom, mo yung, oh, uh, zoom lang. Lalo, uh, lalo yung mga tao ngayon, usually, di ba? Um, yeah. Yung joke nga, sabi, ano, di ba? Parang flatten the curve. Pero sila nagiging flatten the flatten. curve kasi kain lang ng kain, <laughs> yeah, di ba? Yeah. Pero, kung, pero yung mga gym instructor, pwede nila ituloy yung workout and yeah, then discipline kasi may accountability dun sa ano nila, di ba? Sa partners dun sa clients nila. So, sobrang dami talaga eh. So, ako kasi, yun yung challenge that I post to, to the viewers, no? Na, um, I, I, personally, I don't have the answer to all the questions, no? Sure, ang, ang sinasabi ko lang, I am, oh, di ba? Di naman tayo, di ba? So, but I'm, what I'm giving is, I'm giving that, that idea, that spark, yeah. no? that, that, that nugget na, probably, like ah, oo nga, no? Ano ba yung meron ako? that something can, people can, can really do, di ba? Kasi, Ako, even in my trainings, no, uh, nakuha ko to dun sa mentor ko, si Blair Singer. No? He also says that the brilliance is in the room. In this uh, case, the brilliance is in... With them, yeah. Is within, is yeah. within, di ba? Nasa yun eh. Kung ano yung idea na may isip mo, 
um, yun na yun eh. Alam mo yung sarili mo more than we do eh. Mo, hindi kita kilala, hindi oh, ko pa yung kilala. Diba? Ganda so, yun. Kesa i-feed mo yung, oh sige, ito yung gawin nyo. Mas maganda yung hmm. sila mismo yung epiphany. Para wow, yes. oh, I like that idea. Kasi idea ko yun. Right? Yes. So, you will buy in immediately because that's your idea. I, I like it. Thank you. Thank you very exactly, much. Exactly. Exactly. So, wow. yun, yun, one Grabe. last na pala, bro, yes. no? before, ano. So, yun lang. Yung last, yung siguro, yung final message that I can share yes. with the viewers, no? Um, for me, ito, ah. For me, take action. Whatever yes. it is. Be it, be it super big, be it small, tiny steps. Regardless, just take yeah. action. Tama. Why? Because by taking action, we learn. And yeah. two outcomes lang naman yan eh, di ba? Either we win or we learn. Yeah. And yung society kasi masyadong kinaklaud na sabi nila, you failed. But ako, personally, I don't really believe in that in failure. I mean, we don't really fail. fail. We just made mistakes, yeah. di ba? Like in school, di ba? Pumasa naman tayo, let's say 80 yung grade mo, 90 yung grade mo, di ba? 80 yung tama mo, and then yung 20, 20 mo, it's not naman called failures eh. These yeah. are 20 mistakes. Yeah. Diba? Now, for those who talagang sabi natin, talagang failed, failed, you've still made, I don't know, 40 tama, 50 tama. tama. It's just that siguro mas marami yung mistakes kesa dun sa tama. Yeah. Kulang lang, but hindi ka talaga nag-fail. Because it's always a learning experience. no? Going yeah. back to all the stories of the past, of the past speakers, of the past interviewees, no? like, um, like si Robert Tan of Blade, no, who's very successful. Na mentioned din niya doon na yung business niya started out of desperation doon yeah. sa current job niya. And yeah. because yung story ng uncle niya nakakatuwa, yeah. no, very heartwarming. So doon ko na realize na o oh, nga no, it's it's in these times na talagang lumalabas yung creativity ng mga tao na it's yeah. really up to us to to really take action, di ba? Yun lang talaga eh. And take action and always move forward. Ganun right. lang siya, eh, di ba? Be, be small or big doesn't matter. Just just really take action because we don't know what will happen unless we really go for it. Ganun Galing. Ganun. Thank you, thank you, Julian, for that. Really words of advice and inspiration from you. Truly, at a very young age, you have that a lot of wisdom. Not because of age, eh, but because of because of experience and you putting experience. action on whatever you're learning, no? Again, walang kwenta kung puro aral-aral lang or just watching videos. Uh, but just put into action, mas maganda. Again, That's if you're true. watching a lot of videos, a lot of my videos, and yet you're not taking action. I, I failed in a way, di ba? Because we are not uh, inspiring you to put to, to take action. Eh. So mas maganda talaga. That's why we're, we're telling you and reminding you, thank you, Julian, for helping me tell them that you have to put in action whatever you're thinking in your ideas because that's the only uh -huh. way you will learn. That's true. That's right? True. So, guys, yes. I'm sure you learned a lot from this conversation with Julian. Whatever you're learning, please leave a comment. Right? Type in your biggest realization uh -huh. from Julian and from this video. And also, if you like and really love this video, kindly subscribe comment. to my YouTube <laughs> channel. Uh, also, share this to your friends. Please tag them. And also... Follow us in Facebook. You can add Julian in Facebook. Message him. Also me. You can you can message me and, and follow me in Facebook. Thank you very much for watching, guys. This is DJ Dimaliwat and with Julian Pineda. Right? See you again soon, guys. Bye-bye.